that oil is Nigeria's major revenue earner is not news. Neither is it news that the oil fortunes of the country is depleting by the day. There are concerns that in spite of making trillions of dollars since the discovery of oil in the country, there is no significant savings or appreciable impact on Nigerians and the economy. Nigeria has gone through five cycles of oil booms. During this period, Nigeria earned a conservative estimate of over a trillion dollars in revenue, but made no significant savings, nor have these earnings translated to lasting and productive capital through human development, physical infrastructure, and institution building. The huge revenues from oil have not translated to real improvement in the welfare of citizens. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, 60% of the population still live below the poverty line. Corruption, mismanagement of oil revenues, and a lack of diversification in the export sector all have an important role to play in our slow economic growth and high poverty levels. To tackle the menace, a former World Bank Vice President for the African region, Mrs. Obia Zekwesili, advocates a fiscal discipline starting with the enactment of a constitutional law to automatically save into the Sovereign Wealth Fund. Federal government can lead the process of uh, demanding a constitutional amendment as uh, has been conversed from the work of the group uh, to enable the entrenchment of the savings stabilization system. And that's important because that would guarantee us an automatic savings approach as against the current incoherent uh, approach. The consensus at this round table is that the country needs not only to have a fiscal responsibility law, but a fiscal discipline to turn its earnings into more money and economic well-being for its citizens.